Hundreds of UAE residents stranded in India were relieved to hear that the Indian Civil Aviation Ministry has finally agreed to carry out repatriation flights to the UAE starting this week. Well, indeed, it's a good news uh, because we have been waiting since four months to hear some positive news. The residents who are stuck in India, they can now go back in this 15, around 15 days window. To fight the coronavirus, India shut down all of its international commercial flights from the 25th of March, leaving thousands of UA residents in India devastated. I feel devastated that I can't go back home to my family right now and I hope that the authorities do something about it. I'm into a mental stress, mental trauma because I came to India in the month of March. Basically there are two things that is affecting. Uh, number one which is family obvious. Uh, when I came to India my daughter was four months old and by now she's eight months. My wife and my kids are without me. And second thing, people uh, are in India for a long time, so we have a very big fear of losing our jobs as well. For some UA residents, getting back home was the only mission, leaving them with no choice but to board chartered flights to reunite them with their families in Dubai. My basic worry was these two being all alone over here. We are doing a video chat and she had tears in eyes and she said that, Papa, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? Psychologically, she's thinking, why is my father wearing a mask or why is my father not at home? So that really broke my heart. I said, no, I need to get there. Mudassar was lucky enough to be one of those who made it back to Dubai by, even if it meant taking on one of the hardest and most expensive trips of his life. The most important thing was the cost. Uh, how are we going to get 135,000 dirhams? Then the biggest challenge was 13 people who would trust me. Because if one guy backed out, others of us would have to pay. And in the end, I've managed to get them to agree to the cost. 13 people coming together, listening to me, and then coming to Bombay to take the final flight. The average cost of chartering a 10-seater plane from Mumbai to Dubai is around $40,000, meaning each passenger has to shell out $4,000. That's eight times the price of a regular fare on a commercial airliner. Our anniversary, our 10th anniversary is this month, so I had saved up a lot of money to you know, give her a gift, but then we had to use it for this, but then uh, we earn for our family, we live for our family, Whatever we do, we do for our family. So the money that's spent is well spent. Uh, it could have gone towards her gift for the anniversary, but then being with them was more important. Meanwhile, Dubai-based DC Aviation says during the pandemic, they've seen a shift in their clientele. We have seen uh, an increase in flights where passengers are sharing the cost of uh, of the flight. The average load on a private jet would have been sort of three to four passengers. Now what we're seeing is maximum full capacity. We don't focus on selling seats. There are companies out there, especially in Europe, that follow that business model of selling seats on a private jet. But our business model here in the Middle East is selling the whole aircraft. And of course, regardless of which service passengers choose, stringent safety protocols are a must. Once an aircraft arrives, uh, aircraft is fully uh, disinfected. Crew wear uh, gloves and masks at all times during flight. Uh, the cutlery glasses uh, have been removed and replaced with plastic to minimize uh, the risk of infection. Once the passengers arrive uh, here at the facility, they're taken to the uh, airside clinic where they will undergo uh, a COVID-19 test. Now, India's announced plans to open up its airspace for commercial flights on the 31st of July, but experts say this might be postponed further due to the rising rate of COVID-19 infections in the country. Plus, with WHO warning of an impending second wave around the world, there's a good chance that countries will continue with border restrictions in the near future. Faraz Javid, Emirates News.